if you are working with Django, you might have noticed something strange. You create a static folder for your CSS, JavaScript and images. But when you run collect static command, another static folder appears. Why does Django need two static folders? Let me explain in this video. Now to continue with this video, you need to understand the concept of static files in Django. If you are not familiar with Django static files, I recommend watching the video in the i button before proceeding. When you are developing your Django project, you usually create a static folder inside each app or at the project level like this one. This is where you keep your static files such as CSS, JS files and image files. If you look at the static files configuration in this uh, settings.py, you will notice two settings, static files dirs and static root. So to understand why Django needs two static folders, we first have to understand what these two configurations do. You see static files dirs is a list. It can contain paths to static folders from any of your apps. For example, if you put style.css in your accounts app, your Django project will find that style.css and serve it on your site. But the key thing to understand here is that static files dirs only works on your development server where the debug is equal to true. Now when you run collect static command, another static folder gets created. This static folder will be used in production. Why? Well, we have to understand who is running your Django project. On the development server, your run server command is running your project. But on the production server, there's a web server like Nginx, Apache or White Noise. These are the web servers responsible for running your Django project in production. Also in the development, the run server command uses Django's built-in app called django.contrib.staticfiles to find and serve the static files. But in the production, where debug is equal to false, your web server will look for the configuration called static root. Essentially, it's a central folder which contains all of your static files, including the admin static files. Now to summarize, the static folder that you created manually will be used on your development server and the static folder that got created after running the collect static command will be used in production. So this is why Django uses multiple static folders. Most of the time, two static folders, one for the development server and another for the production server. So I hope this was clear. If you want to learn more about Django application development, you can check out my advanced Django courses where you can become a master in Django by building such advanced projects. The links are in the description. With that said, if you learned anything new in this video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and comment if you have any doubts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.